bring you back inside of Montego Bay Sports Complex here in Montego Bay, Jamaica, as we are set to kick off the first half between the U.S. and Mexico. This is the biggest game in these young, bright futures of the, for these players. In a match that had this kind of consequences to it, an opportunity to earn a ticket into the U-17 World Cup next year. And there is the whistle from Melissa Borjas. We are underway in the semifinal. Yeah, Janae Gonzalez has three goals coming into the tournament, um, coming into the game. And just like that, the U.S. will strike. Guess who? Janae Gonzalez finding some space and heading the ball home to give Mexico a jaw-dropping 1-0 lead. No, and you can see Mexico's very disciplined. Here we see the goal again. She's unmarked in the box, but a great little ball looping in, difficult to defend. Literally inches underneath the crossbar. Made it tough. There's a great angle for Rude to get a fingertip to it. Mexico will step in and win the possession and come back the other way. Puerta. And a long distance shot forces Lauren Rude to shuffle back and make sure it goes over the top of the crossbar. As we approach the opening quarter of an hour, the U.S. looking to play up and over the top. Madison Haley has snuck in behind the back for a chance to equalize and it's just wide of the post. Another look at it. She does a great job getting her body between her, the ball and the defender, cutting down the angle and forcing her wide. U.S., as they've done this entire tournament, quickly winning the ball back. What can they do with it now? Zoe Rude, five goals in the tournament so far. Haley! Madison Haley with a good look with the head, but the header will go wide quite comfortable to play the ball around their own back four, but Mexico is not playing into that game. They're, they're not being sucked out and opening up the space. We'll get back to that in a moment. Mallory Pugh looking out top, and there's the equalizer from Madison Haley. It took some time, about 20 minutes to be precise, but the U.S. have leveled this game at one. Officially her sixth international goal and second of this competition. Another look at it. Yeah, she draws all the defenders in because she's pushing to the end line and they're just nice little slip pass back to the top of the six yard box. Now she needs to be looking to the right to get it out wide. Or over, play a great ball like that. Over the top for Rade, who hits it first time, but right at Emily Alvarado. Yeah, Ellie Jean is so dangerous when she gets forward and creates so many chances on goal. So you like seeing that she's pushing up. Chance for another one and it skips just across the goal mouth. Rade keeping it alive. It was Annika Rodriguez on the back post, back inside for Madison Haley, and that one just trickles by the far post. This one will run all the way through for Lauren Rude. The goalkeeper from Camas, Washington, earning her fifth cap, and you never see this call. Wow. I think she called Lauren Rood for holding the ball too long, which results in an indirect free kick inside the 18-yard box for Mexico. Belen Cruz there. The shot and right into the gloves of Lauren Rood, trying to go under the wall. That one coming off of the right foot of the captain, Rebecca Bernal. Mexico trying to evacuate their own in. Madison Haley, glancing header, looking for Rade. Well hit there off the right foot of Natalie Jacobs, but right into the gloves of Alvarado. As a, an assistant with the U20s, an assistant with UCLA, and then becoming the head coach for UCLA, or even as a player at Indiana University. Follow-up chance here for Mexico will go over the top of the bar. USA, keep this pressure up. They're gonna get a goal one of these times. Fifth corner of the second half for the U.S. Annika Rodriguez bends it in toward the near post. And how does Zoe Rade put that over the top? I think the offside flag was up nonetheless. 90 minutes plus stoppage time. Not enough, Shannon, to determine a winner here. And why would it be? It's a U.S.-Mexico, another chapter here at the U-17 level. We will head to penalty kick to determine which of these two countries will book their ticket to the 2014 under-17 Women's World Cup in Costa Rica. It'll be Mexico that will step up first. Bernal to try and give Mexico an early advantage, and she does. And then she goes down. 
Rassiopi to equalize for the U.S. And she is stopped by Alvarado. As a keeper, it's so tough. You almost have to guess or try to read the body. Alvarado goes the right way to her left. He's able to get both hands on the ball. Eva Gonzalez, who started in the midfield with a chance to add another one for Mexico, and she does. Nervous moments for the red, white, and blue. McGrady steps up, and she coolly and calmly buries it into the corner to give the U.S. their first goal in the penalty kicks. Garcia, can Rude come up with the save? No, it's into the corner, and now 3-1 Mexico. Pew to pull another one back, and she does. Well slotted as it nicks the post and in. Just a great finish. Here's Tovar. Oh, a fingertip there for Lauren Rue, but not enough to parry it around. And Lauren Rue guessed the right way, just got her fingertips. It wasn't enough to touch it past the post. And the save from Alvarado is it was actually Zoe Moore stepping up. 2010, deja vu, Mexico is going to the 2014 World Cup.